Today we snuck into a rehearsal of a, a local dance performance here in Dunhuang. It's the Dancing Murals. While they were rehearsing, we got to practice some of our sketching on the floor and around. It was really a beautiful thing to see dancers running around and practicing and stretching and getting ready for the performance tonight. It was a precursor to what I was actually going to see this evening. The Dancing Murals is an ancient dance in Dunhuang. It's based on the frescoes made in the Mogao Caves. It wasn't until 1980s that they actually interpreted the drawings that were on the cave and made it into a, a modern dance. Let's talk about food. Um, this whole trip has been this extreme culinary experience. Earlier today, our local host here in Dunhuang, uh, Mr. Ren, arranged a banquet for us. Each dish is very unique, and but then dishes started coming out that had actual like figurines made out of roots and and stories behind them, and just oh. Unbelievable. I've never seen cuisine like this before. It was fun. It was actually fun cuisine. <laughs> the tastes are just divine. I, I, I can't even really compare it to a lot of food back home because I just had never really had anything like it. We mainly were having local cuisine here in Dunhuang. And these weren't recipes that were handed down from generations from like someone's great grandmother. These recipes came from the Mogao Caves. They were in the library cave that are like a thousand years old. One of the things I did find out about uh, the traditional banquets that they have here is that <laughs> they do like to drink. And um, you need fortitude to be able to come to these meals and be able to drink as much as you are drinking. That stuff is wicked. <laughs> oh. And I later learned that that's part of a host's responsibility is to make sure that first of all, that their guests are full to capacity and drunk. <laughs> This evening we just experienced um, something that's very specific and special to this area um, and it was a dance performance called uh, The Dancing Murals. The Dancing Murals are based on paintings from the Mogao Ku or the Mogao Caves, also known as the Dunhuan Grottoes. They would be doing their performance and dancing and all of a sudden they would hold this pose and those were images of, of paintings and different renditions of paintings from the Mogao Caves. Another one was the Buddha of a Thousand Hands, and there was these costumes and these just yellow and had these brilliant gold uh, extensions on their fingers. Their movements are so fluid, it's almost like a brush stroke, which just completely relates back to the artwork that they're trying to portray. Seeing the dance today was really interesting as well for me as an artist, because so far, Everything that's artistic here in Dunhuang has some kind of reference to the Mogao Caves, and I haven't even seen them yet. I think seeing them as performance art and as paper cuts is giving me the gravity of what they mean to this community. I'm excited. 